A distance time graph shows us the distance an object is from its starting point after a certain amount of time travelling. The graph here represents Rob's journey to work, his time at work and his journey home. In question A, we want to work out how long was Rob's journey to work. If we look at the graph, we can see that there's this section where the graph at the start slopes upwards. It is this section that represents Rob's journey to work because as time goes on, his distance from home is increasing. So that's his journey to work. And we can see in terms of time, this is just one hour. What time did Rob leave work? Well, if we look at the graph, we can see there's a period of time here from one hour all the way across to nine hours where Rob's distance does not change from home. So this must mean that he's at the same location, which is his work. So we can say that he leaves work when this section finishes, which is after nine hours. So this is nine hours after starting the measurements. If we want to calculate Rob's speed on his journey home from work, we need to remember that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So to work out his speed on his journey home from work, we just need to look at the distance travelled during his journey home, which we can see is going to go from 40 miles to 0 miles, and it's over a period of just one hour. So his speed is 40 divided by 1, 40 miles divided by 1 hour, which is 40 miles per hour. You may be asked to work out the average speed over a journey. This graph shows us the distance that Kelly runs on the y-axis in kilometres, and along the x-axis we have her time. So she begins the run at midday, 12 p.m. here, and then we can see what time it is when she's travelled a certain distance. So she's training for a marathon. The graph shows her run from home and then back again. We can see that she returns home because the graph finishes at a distance of zero. To work out her average speed, we need to work out the total distance travelled divided by the total time taken. To work out her average speed for the whole run, I need to first look at the total distance that she has travelled. Looking at the graph, I can see she first travels 10 kilometres from 12 till 1, and then from 1 until 3, there's another um, 10 kilometers. So that's a total of 20 kilometers on the way there. And then on the way back will be another 20 kilometers. So in total, she has run 40 kilometers. Looking at the time, I can see that this is over a period of 6 hours, from 12 to 1800. To work out the average speed, I need to do total distance divided by total time, giving me an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour. I might want to work out her average speed while she is running. So not including this section when she's clearly taking a break, when she's staying still. To do this, I need to look at the total distance she's traveled while running, which is still 40 kilometers but the time is slightly different because we don't include the time that she has the break. So we need to work out what the scale of the graph is. In one hour, the graph goes up in five small squares. So that means that every small square is going to be 60 divided by five, which is going to be 12 in terms of minutes. So we can see that the graph during her rest is two and a half squares. So that gives us 24, about 30 minutes of rest. So in total, the time that she spends running, not including the rest, is 3.5 hours. So to work out her average speed, I need to do 40 kilometers divided by 3.5 hours, which is 11.4 kilometers per hour with a calculator. Here's a question for you to try.
please pause the video now and have a go at it, and when you're ready to go to the answer, press play. Here are the answers. Firstly, what time did Tom arrive in London? Well, we can see this is his journey to London. We can see it finishes here, so he arrives in London at 1400, so 2 p.m. He stops for a break during his journey. How far away was he from London when he stopped for his break? Well, when he's at London, that's at the end of the graph here. That's just because this is showing his journey to London. And we can see that that is at um, 220 kilometers from home. And he takes his break during this horizontal section of the graph, which is at, looking at the scale of the graph, 160 kilometers from home. To work out how far away he is from London when he's taking his break, I need to do 220, take away 160, which is just going to be 60 kilometers. So when he takes his break, he's 60 kilometers from London. His break was from 11 o'clock until 12 o'clock, so he had a break for exactly one hour. His speed before taking the break can be worked out using the formula speed is equal to distance divided by time. The distance traveled before taking the break is 160 kilometers and the time that it uh, the time that he needs to reach this um, distance is exactly two hours, nine to 11. So that's two hours. This gives me an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So KPH or kilometers per hour is fine. His average speed on the way to London after taking his break. To work this out, I need to consider the total distance traveled after he takes his break. So that's going to be from here to here. So I can see that that is a distance of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 kilometers. And the total dis and the total time for that period is from 12 till 2, which is 2 hours. So the average speed is going to be total distance of 60 kilometers divided by total time of 2 hours, which gives us 30 kilometers per hour.